Found him just like this, sir. The whole scout party, dead. But that's not the weird part. None of them have any marks at all. No plasma scarring, no slice marks from the energy swords, nothing. It's like they all just died. You scan the area for radiation or gas? Yes, sir. Nothing to report, though. Their armor should have shielded them from that anyway. I had an autopsy done on a couple of the bodies. There are no marks anywhere inside or out. One minute they are fine, and the next, they were dead. Where were the Covenant casualties? None, sir. Not a single elite was found dead, and there weren't any traces of blood to indicate there was even much of a struggle. What did you find inside the temple? The power was on, sir, but we can't use any of the equipment as of yet. Lycurgus is trying to interface with it, and maybe get an idea on how to interface with the Codex, too, once we finish up with these Covenant bastards. Very good. Gather up the scout party's weapons and salvage what other gear you can. We've got to keep moving. Sir, I have urgent news. What is it? I have discovered the function of the Codex. The increasing proximity of the human raids to this cave indicate that they intend to strike here again. Whether this is a sign of a full-fledged assault or simply another insertion such as we experienced before, it's impossible to tell. Unde, have your scouts finished their exploration of the cave system? Is there any way into this cave except through the entrance directly above? No, sir. And this chamber is the shallowest part of the cave system, so digging down from the surface would be very impractical. The entrance to this cave is inside a human city on the surface. The reason the humans were able to sneak in last time was that they were able to sneak through the streets undetected. We will not make this mistake again. I want all nearby forces to return to the city and prepare to defend the Codex. Any extra forces in the cave should stand in reserve, as should all special operations elites in the area. Yes, Praetor. Sir, who should I place in command of the city's defense now that Commander Erdorinity is dead? I will personally command the defense of the Holy Codex. And who is to be placed in charge of the operations within the cave? You will, Unde. You know these caves better than any elite on this world, and I will rely on you to lead the battle within them, should the battle require it. I am honored to serve you, noble Praetor. However, Onda Sophody and her special operations elites will remain directly under my command, though they remain in the caves. Understood, sir. Good. Now we must act quickly. Send out the orders to all Covenant forces across the planet. I have something I want to say to them. Yes, yes Praetor. Praetor. Sir, what about the cleric? Would this not be a perfect time for him to try to seize control? I have given orders for enough troops to remain in the cave to suppress a rebellion from within. I want you to keep your special operations elites ready to fight the cleric's followers if they should attempt to undermine my command. Of course, Praetor. I intercepted this message several days ago, but I had categorized it as a simple covenant religious sermon. I only analyzed it in full a few moments ago. Let me see it. My brothers, the great journey is drawing near. Soon we'll be able to activate the Holy Codex, and its knowledge will pour out before us. The wisdom Lycurgus, of the ancients... We already knew it was important to the covenant religion. Have you learned anything new? Just a moment, sir. It is coming up. Blood. The knowledge locked inside the Holy Codex will lead us to the seven sacred rings, and allow us to cleanse the universe of the unbelievers and heretics. The cleansing flame will wash over the bodies of the faithful, but the heathens will be destroyed. How accurate do you think that prediction is? Sir, the Covenant know much more about the subject than I, but given the provable existence of the Codex on this planet, I do not think it is impossible that there are other similar structures scattered throughout the galaxy. The idea of an ancient alien superweapon, however disconcerting and discomforting, seems now to be a quite plausible reality. Sir, my estimates of Covenant progress are quite alarming given this new development. I believe that the Covenant may be on the verge of being able to activate the Codex. Like Hergus, what would you say the possibility of recapturing the Codex would be? Sir, the Covenant are fierce warriors, and are sure to be all the more tenacious when defending a holy relic. Given the available force matched against the Covenant army and orbital armada, I do not believe recapture should be the desired objective. And what would you say it should be? Sir, if the weapon described in that sermon exists, it would be a threat not only to the troops on this planet, but to the whole of humanity. Our only option is to destroy the Codex, and erase the knowledge contained therein. Radio the other scout groups and let them know what's happening. Tell them to get ready to move out, and start working up a preliminary battle strategy. I'll go talk to the troops. Yes, sir. All right, everybody. Listen up. Like Hergus just figured out exactly what it is that the Covenant are holding down in that cave. Now, I won't bore you with the details, but suffice it to say, that machine has the potential to make our little war a moot point. 
If the Covenant activated, it will link up with other structures all over the galaxy, and humanity will cease to exist. We've got to take that thing out, no matter what the cost. Now, I've been fighting with some of you for a long time. We've been on some tough missions together, but one way or another, we've always pulled through. Now, I'd be lying if I said I knew we'd get through this one all right. But one thing I do know, we will get the job done. We have a duty to ourselves, a duty to our fellow soldiers, a duty to the rest of humanity to get the job done. The road ahead of us isn't going to be easy. The Covenant are not going to let us walk in and destroy that thing without a fight. They're going to try to stop us every inch of the way. They're going to try to kill every one of us before we get near that cave. But do you know what I say to that? I say we have beaten them twice on this planet already, and I think it's time to finish the job. Noble warriors, for ages untold, our Covenant has fought for this moment. On world after world, our forefathers fought to uncover the mysteries of the ancients. And now we stand on the brink of the great journey. But the humans would deny us our holy destiny. I ask you, not as a commander, but as a brother in arms, to fight. Over the years, we have lived and died together. We've shared barracks and we've shared foxholes. We've shed tears and shed blood together. But I would not have you remember all that we have done. I would have you remember why we have done it. We were fighting for something more than ourselves. For something more than our personal honor or glory. It's something that speaks to each and every one of us. Something that lies deep within each of our hearts. Something that calls out to us, urging us to fight on. Something that pushes us forward, assuring us of the righteousness of our quest. Today, I want you to remember what you are fighting for. Today, I want you to remember what all of us are fighting for. Today, we fight for our gods! Today, 